Hello my lovely Scorpios. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are doing your February weekly reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And they are still on sale for Valentine's Day. Today is the last day of the sale. And they are love spreads, one for new love that covers the next love coming towards you and everything you need to know about that. And one is for a past or current person. And it takes a look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, action, and a potential outcome. Both of those spreads are recorded video readings and they are on sale for $25. I also have the Zoom readings on sale for $50. And everything that you guys will need to know about scheduling is in the description box for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Scorpios. Please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most, please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Scorpio's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Oh, Scorpio. Somebody is definitely coming back around. I mean, <laughs> somebody is definitely coming back around Scorpio here. You got the Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Hierophant, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. That is a lot of coming back around energies here. Your overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, I do feel like you have two nines here, right, in a row. You have the nine of wands in the, or, yes, nine of wands in the reverse right underneath that. I feel like this is something that you have given up on in the past, okay? You got tired of fighting for it. You just gave up on it here. The nine of pentacles, though, in the reverse, I do feel like... Sometimes every now and then that can speak to me about feeling very tied to something, right? It's like, even if you guys have been in separation, I do feel like you have felt this person's energy, okay? It's like a part of you, a part of them was with you, if that makes sense. Uh, if you know, you know. Now we got the nine of pentacles and the reverse can also speak about something that is just very draining. It takes a lot from you mentally, emotionally, sometimes financially. And with that nine of wands in the reverse, I feel like that could be why you guys felt like you had to give up on something or let go of something because it was taking a lot from you. It was very draining. So three of cups and the wheel of fortune. Somebody's definitely coming back around. It's like takes you by surprise. It, it feels very, very unexpected to me. It feels very take you by surprise. I also feel like it's this energy of change. Like, I do feel like there there has been some changes within this person. And that could be what's causing them to want to come back around. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's wanting to come out of the cold here. But I feel like with this Eight of Swords in the reverse, or the Eight of Swords, I feel like you're very much in your head about it. And maybe it's because of everything that you went through with this person in the past. Like I said, I feel like it could have been very draining on you. Even the Five of Pentacles can be a card of lack, right? It could have caused you to have a lot of lack, whether that is doesn't necessarily have to be financial lack, although it could, but it could have caused you to um, have self-worth or feel like you were lacking in some way, emotionally or physically. So I feel like you're very hesitant to open up to it. I feel this energy of being very, very in your head about it. Having a lot of different thoughts coming in, coming out. We got the Hierophant card here. That is can be absolutely a card of something being at a different level like leveling up it can be a card of committing to something it's also a card of lessons learned uh, he has different tiers on his crown three different tiers and they are different levels of initiation he learns certain lessons and he gets levels up right and i kind of feel that here you know i feel like this person could have learned some major lessons and that is one of the reasons why they're coming back around towards you at this time the eight of cups in the reverse they're wanting to reconnect they're they're returning here scorpio And I do feel like they are returning wanting to commit to this. I feel like the opportunity for uh, commitment is here. 
It's like they're not playing around. Show me this person. We're going to clarify. We're going to get further into that in a moment, Scorpio. We're going to get your person's energy out on the table. Show me this person's energy towards Scorpio. Show me this person's energy towards Scorpio, please. Got the devil energy, could be a Capricorn. Got the temperance, Sagittarius. Wow, got the high priestess in the reverse, Pisces. Oh my goodness. Got the hair font in the reverse, Taurus. Got the hermit in the reverse, Virgo. I have five cards so far, they've all been majors. That's kind of crazy. And then we have the Eight of Wands. So there's definitely communication coming in here. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of their deck here. I do feel like there's this worry. Yeah, that there's that you've already started to move on. Some of them could have tried to like check out your social media and stuff too to see if you've already moved on here. Because they know that there's been a, a distance between the two of you. They know that they've created a big disconnect. They know that they may have already blown their shot here. The devil and the hair font in the reverse. This person could have had some really toxic behaviors. They could have been very uncommittal in the past. Even I'm mean, some of them even like sexual addictions. And the page of cups in the reverse. It's like they recognize that there's not there's not enough sorries to cover the things that they've done. The Page of Cups in the Reverse can also, to me, sometimes speak about the one that got away. It's like they're recognizing that in their toxicity, in their, you know, in that period of time, they could have let the one, the one, get away. And there's not a lot, of, there's not enough sorries to make up for those actions, those hurts. Tell me about this temperance with this hermit in the reverse. Now the temperance to me does feel like divine timing. It also does feel to me though uh, it's, it's an energy of change. Now it's a different kind of transformation than like maybe the death card, right? It is the slow and gradual change. It's like the kind of change one would see going on a diet or exercising, starting to go to the gym, right? It's something that takes dedication and time, but eventually it does get that transformation, right? But it's a slow, gradual transformation that takes dedication and it takes time. That's why it, the temperance also represents um, patience. I feel like it has been some time and I feel like this person has has changed. I mean, I feel like there's there's still, I want to say like work in progress. They're still in that transformation, but they have changed a great deal from this person here, this devil, Hierophant in the reverse. And the hermit in the reverse. I feel like that's one of the reasons why they're ready to come out to like break the silence, come back towards you. I feel like they have already been in this hermit mode of really reflecting and, and and going through these changes and now they're ready to come out and express that to you the tower in the reverse and the two of cups they do feel like you are their person The Two of Cups can be like a perfect match. It can also be, the Two of Cups can also talk about just a very blessed, positive conversation, right? And I feel like they have some fears about this conversation, about how this is going to go. But with this tower in the reverse, you know, I feel like they're kind of wanting to avoid making things worse. But they also know they have to have it, they have to face it. We got the High Priestess in the reverse with this Eight of Wands. The Death card in the reverse. I 
I feel like this person is ready to put all the secrets out in the open. I feel like they're ready to, you know, I feel like they're in a space where they'll answer anything that you want them to answer. You know, they are willing to be just 100% open and honest with you about everything that's happened in the past, if that's what it's going to take. Um, I don't feel like they want this to be over. But there is a kind of an unknown mystery type of an energy here. And I feel like it's because this person has no idea how they're going to be received. Like I said, I feel like they have tried to look at your social media and see if you've already moved on from them or not. If you're with somebody or not. Um, but they're well aware of the space, the distance, and the obstacles that are between the two of you. They're well aware of the disconnect that's happened here because of their actions. And they know that there's not... There's not a lot that that can be said for that. That you can only say sorry so many times, and and what they have done here doesn't sorry doesn't really cut it, you know. But I do feel like there has been change here. There has been genuine change, especially for those of you where it's been a while. And I feel like that's the case for some of you guys. It has been a while. Um, there has been genuine change here. But I do feel like you're going to be hearing from this person with this Eight of Wands energy. It's like they are. They have some fears about how this is going to go, but they're going to communicate with you anyway. They do feel like you're the one that got away, Scorpio. But let's take a look at your energy. Tell me about this Three of Cups and this Wheel of Fortune, please. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody didn't take the connection seriously in the past. They were very non-committal in the past. And the World card. And you thought this was something that was closed out or things closed out because of that. I feel like you've changed a lot too, Scorpio. I really do. I feel like you have changed a lot too. You've accomplished a lot. You've changed a lot. You've grown. You're in a different space. And I feel like that's another reason. You know, that's one of the other reasons. I feel like what this person has seen when they have investigated, they have seen that there's something different about you. You do have the five of pentacles in the reverse with the eight of swords. Yeah, very conflicted in your head about it. We got the hermit energy. I feel like you're really trying to look within and figure out what you want to do here. Some of you guys may need time to decide. Some of you may not be able to decide right away. Some of you guys may need time and take whatever time you need. But as I feel like you're coming at this from a different place. You know, the Hermit is very, very wise. He has all this experience. Um, and I feel like you have more experience now. You are wiser. Like I said, you have changed. You have grown too, Scorpio. So you're seeing this from a different perspective than maybe you would have before. The Page of Swords in the reverse, though, you are very skeptical. And that may, may be another reason why you need time. Um, you may want to see things. You may want to be able to shine your light on the situation and see things. Because the Page of Swords in the reverse, I do feel like you are skeptical about this person. They're coming in, claiming these lessons, claiming this change. And I feel like you're skeptical. Tell me about this Hierophant, Eight of Cups in the reverse. Strength card in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I think you're really hesitant to take action because I do feel like you feel like you don't have the strength to go through what you did in the past. And I also feel like you just want to take time. I feel like there's things that you want to see. You know, and if somebody really has changed, then you'll see that in time. You don't have to rush and make any kind of decisions. Scorpio, make sure that you take whatever time you need to to do what's best for you, okay? Because only you get to decide what's best for you. Only you guys get to decide who you allow to have access to your energy or not for the good and the bad, right? I feel like there's going to be a communication coming in. I think it's going to take you a bit by surprise here. There's a lot of majors here. To me, the majors represent the bigger energies at play, right? The The... The bigger, deeper, more meaningful energies at play here. I do feel like there has been a change here, right? I do feel like there is something very significant about this conversation. Even if you don't allow this person back into your life, there's something very healing that has the potential to be very healing about it, right? Maybe even allow you to fully close a chapter if that's so what you choose. 
But that is what I have for you guys now. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through it and pray for you. I do have a tarot course available. It is a one-on-one -on -one course via Zoom. If you guys want more details about that, my email's in the description box below. But this is where we part. Thank you guys for being here and supporting me, and I will see you soon.